Have you picked up athlete's foot? Well, if you have, don't worry. I'm going to be discussing this. Plus, I'm going to show you how you can cure it. Coming up. Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Tim here again with another How To With Basics. And yes, once again, I will be discussing and showing you how to solve your little problem. Okay, what is athlete's foot? Athlete's foot is a fungal infection that affects the skin on the feet. It is a contagious fungal infection which can also spread to the toenails and your hands. The infection is termed as athlete's foot because it's mostly seen in athletes for obvious reasons. Now, its symptoms typically are an itchy, burning and a stinging sensation between your toes. Two, or an itching or burning sensation on the soles of your feet. Or three, you will develop itchy blisters on the feet. Fourthly, cracking and peeling of the skin between the toes and on the soles of your feet. Or dry skin on the soles and or possibly on the sides of your feet. Or the skin on your feet becomes raw. You could then also uh, experience a discolored, thick and crumbling toenails and toenails can also eventually pull away from the nail bed. So this is critical and it has to be addressed. Okay, let's now look at the main causes and the risk factors for athlete's foot. The main cause of athlete's foot is a fungal infection caused by the growth of this specific type of fungus on your feet. You can get it either by direct contact with an infected individual or by direct contact with something else. Since this fungus thrives in a moist and warm environments, it can be commonly found in showers, locker room floors, steam rooms and around swimming pool areas. Although everyone is likely to develop athlete's foot, some people are just at greater risk. Factors that could be held responsible for increasing your risk of developing athlete's foot are as follows. Firstly, going barefoot into public places like swimming pools, showers and steam rooms. Wearing non-breathable tight-fitting shoes. Keeping your feet soaked and covered for prolonged periods having sweaty feet or having a minor skin and or a nail injury on your foot. And of course, when we are always in such a rush, we seldom take the time to do things properly. Now, a good example of this, which I am always guilty of. I wake up in the morning almost running, especially during the winter when it is a little bit chilly. We jump in and out the hot shower, quickly dry ourselves, put our socks or stockings on and our shoes and then rush off into the kitchen to grab that quick cup of coffee and our slightly toasted fruity soda bread before we dash out the door to school, college or work. <laughs> Wait, stop, 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 stop. Let's just rewind here for one minute and go back a little. Let's just look at what we have just done. Firstly, we dried ourselves quickly, but did we dry our feet and between our toes properly? Ah, oh, maybe the towel was too thick, compounded by our big thick fingers, as getting all the way in between each toe is never so easy, especially when we are rushing. So, we have just left a little dampness or moisture between our toes. Am I right? Secondly, we then immediately put our socks or stockings on 
as it was a little bit chilly and we didn't want our feet to get cold. So we now have a little moisture between our toes or on our feet. Then we added further warmth with our socks. Then we encased all of that into our shoes. Well, what we have now just done is created an ideal humid environment for potential fungal growth. And if we do this a few more times, voila, well done, mate. You have just created the perfect environment and potentially given yourself what could be the start of athlete's foot. Okay, I am guilty here. And as I always say, you chip it, you crack it, you pay. So live with it for a while, mate. But don't worry, we can fix it the basic way. Now, if you didn't watch my video on a cure for an abscess tooth, I suggest that you do. And here is the link to it above. If you did, then you remember what we did. We crushed a fresh clove of garlic. And why? Because garlic is the purest, concentrated, natural antibiotic that nature has given to us. And it kills infection. Plus, it gives relief from itching and pain. All right. So, we crush up one, two, or more garlic cloves, depending upon the size of the infected area. And then we rub it all over the area in question. And, if need be, leave it stuffed between your toes for, say, 30 minutes. Now, you will need to repeat this process, ideally twice a day, till the athlete's foot is completely healed. Your problem will then be solved. But remember that garlic does have a strong scent, so you will have to live with that for a while. But it is a very effective topical treatment for athlete's foot. And depending upon the severity of your case, it has been proven to completely cure it after just seven days or less. This now brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. I do hope you've learned something new here today. And if so, please leave a comment below as your feedback is important in improving the overall quality of material being presented. If you know someone that could benefit from this video, then please share it with them as your help and support is really appreciated. Now don't forget to click the thumbs up, like button below, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time with another How To With Basics video. Bye!